Do you like scary movies? Cause this one will give you a real scream. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the uh, week 9 of the 2018 NFL predictions. Cody couldn't be here because uh, he's got some... had a little accident on the way here so I'll be filling in for him today. And I'm gonna do a better job than him because he's a dumbass and now he's a deadass and I mean... Anywho, not the point here. Let's get into it. Let's see. His... I'm gonna do his job better. Watch this. Right. Last week... He went a good old 11 and 3 straight up and 8 and 6 against the spread, which is. I'm gonna actually be smart and tell you the total. He is now a grand total of what was that? I can't remember already. 77, 42 and 2 straight up and 54, 60 and 7 against the spread. That's what I should say right there to whoever edits these. I don't know who edits these. these. Definitely ain't him. He can never remember shit. And I guess he's improving, I don't know. This is against the spread picks. I've been looking a lot better recently. So it's, uh... I mean, I guess he's doing good. What, I mean, what do I know? Uh, it's not like I watch football or whatever. Uh, I see the game or two every now and then, but that's about it. Anywho, uh, on to my picks. Because my picks are better than his picks. We go first. My first game of the day. Gonna be the Battle of the Bay. Cause it doesn't like the Bay. That's when the Oakland Raiders travel to San Francisco. Where the Niners are currently three point favorites at home. Honestly, who gives a shit about this game? Both these teams combined for two wins over the entire season. And we're on to week nine. Honestly, outside of Southern California, I mean, yeah, you get your Battle of the Bay, and I, and, yippee yay I mean, what are you supposed to do? I mean, Derek Carr, we all thought he was a good QB. Now, it might be John Gruden's fault, it might be Jack Del Rio, no one knows anymore. All I know is, he hasn't done much of anything, and now they got rid of Amari Kufa, which, for whatever reason, made him look somewhat better this last week. But not enough against the Colts. Who surprisingly might be a better team. Than we all thought they were. I don't know. And the Niners. Well they went and lost to Arizona. Arizona's two wins in the Sears. And both come against the Niners. So it's uh. It's whatever. The Niners were supposed to be this great team. With that Jimmy G guy. But now he's more deader than uh. Well whoever was hosting last week's episode. Eh, what do I know? But it's... The Vegas is being nice. Giving home field. The three. And yada yada. You know how that works. It means on a neutral field, no one knows what the fuck is going to happen in this game. <sighs> and normally I would go over home field advantage if I were a betting man. But I don't play by the rules either. And honestly, I feel like Derek Carr is due for at least one. So whatever the hell, I like the Raiders in this game, and you're gonna get the points anyway. Take the Raiders. What are they, plus three? Yeah, plus three. Okay. Uh, California. Had some good memories back there. Ought to head back one of these days. Uh, good times, good times. And someone should call up Sydney for me too while you're at it. <laughs> Anywho, next game, shall we? Whatever, uh, uh, uh Phones are hard these days. Eh. Yeah, let's do this one. Screw it. Uh, for my next game, we're going to have Tampa Bay heading to Carolina. Carolina is currently favored by 7.5 points. A little more than a touchdown. Assuming the points to point is good. Because nowadays, we can't trust a kicker to save our lives. Screw over a lot of people in Vegas. And a lot of people in games. Which is being gonna work that Geo guy, that tainted football is a real thing. I've watched Geo's videos. Those tainted footballs, they're, they're everywhere. And it's disgusting. 
I mean, are kickers real players? I'm sure that Cody guy thought kickers were real players. Ah, uh, what do I know? Anywho, damn his wisdom sucks, it's freaking usual. It's like, I, just, people still don't expect this. Ick, I've been expecting this day one. Freaking comes out of Florida. <sighs> yeah, Florida, I never had really good anyway. What do I know? Big episode of, I don't know. I, again, I don't watch that much football, so I don't know. Anywho, uh, so starting Ryan Fitzpatrick this week. Okay, apparently fits magic is a thing. And that guy's been on more teams than... Well, I can't say what I was about to say. But, um... Uh, this knife definitely hasn't been used to kill anyone. Don't, don't look at me like that. Okay. Ugh. Anywho, Cam Newton put on a show against allegedly one of the best defenses in the NFL. Uh, and Carolina's defense made Joe Flacco look below average. Which, according to everyone, including myself... Is the truth. That uh, Cody guy still tries to hold out faith for him, but thinking, what do you know, if like it sucks. It's gonna be Lamar Jackson next year. They're gonna give him the whole Alex Smith treatment. We all know it. He knows it, but he won't admit it. But now he can't admit it. I mean, what? <sighs> anyway, yeah. Uh, Carolina. They're a good team sitting at 5-2. And, and honestly, they should just stay and roll the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah, if it's magic's nice, but you know, when you're playing up against a real team and they actually are now expecting him to come, the fans weren't expecting it, that's why they lost. Or they suck, I don't know. But uh, yeah, Cam Newton, mobile quarterbacks, they, they, they just kind of prevail in this league. Or do you think Aaron Rodgers is as good as people say he is? Because dude can run a little bit. Cam Newton, the only reason he's still in the NFL is because he can run. But yeah, you get the play. Easy game. Take Carolina. Seven and a half. No fits magic will save you from them. And the third and final game we're going to look at is uh, the Los Angeles Rams heading to New Orleans. Where no one knows what the line is right now because none of these apps ever update themselves. Yes, I have a phone. Don't look at me like that. I've learned to upgrade over these years. But, yeah, uh, we're assuming the Saints are at home, but they're probably going to be favored by, like, one or two, considering the Rams are 8-0. After coming off a, dare I say, controversial, but good enough win against the Remake Packers. Uh, that time Montgomery guy, who let him have the ball? Well, he's supposed to be a receiver. He's supposed to be run after catch. What is he doing, fumbling like that? Uh, what do I know? I used to be a running back in high school myself. I had a lot of fumbles. But, and then I... Well, we won't talk about what happened afterwards. <sighs> Anywho, the Saints, coming off an impressive win against the Vikings in their own stadium. Seem to be beating teams that have allegedly good defenses. First they take down Baltimore. Now they take down Minnesota. Yeah, they get the Rams. Who are probably the best team in the NFL. I mean, 8 0 says enough to me. Doesn't really matter what team you beat. You're 8 0. Uh. Now, is it possible they couldn't go 16 0? Maybe. I don't know. Well, this is a good team. And it's, uh. It's a real toss up for me. I mean, it can go either way, really. But at the end of the day, if you think about a shootout, who do you like more? Derek Goff with the Rams, who are probably going to get Cooper Cup back. Or Drew Brees with the Saints. Uh, Michael Thomas, Mark Ingram, Alvin Kamara. That rookie dude whose name I can never remember. Eh. Tough game for me to pick. But you know, I think at the end of the day, I like the idea of the Rams pulling this one out because they're just a special team. Something's going to give. But I like the Rams' chances, and I'm going to stick with the Rams to win this game. Until someone can stop them, I don't see them being stopped. Take the Rams, whatever the points you're getting. Are they your picks? Now you're going to be my picks for their other games. Oh, and down the list. 
grab this electronic device, tell y'all how I actually feel. Uh, and the Bills are supposedly starting that Peterman guy. I don't know, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, but I like the Bears in this game. Chiefs will beat the Brands. And the Brands are a little flip floppy and gonna have a new M intern head coach so you can get away with the points. <sighs> Alright, games, they'll rebound. Lions kinda suck. To be honest, and they just lost one of their good receivers. <sighs> Redskins, Falcons are mixed up. No one knows what's going on. Nathan Pearson somehow looks like he's younger than a. I don't know, I'm not good at analogies. He's, he looks young even though he's old. I like the Ravens to win at home. They need the ups. They need to win. They've lost two in a row, so I think they'll beat Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh got a roll, but it's hard to win on the road. Texans will win by a mile. Denver's not as good as everyone thinks they are. I like Seattle at home. I know the Chargers are supposed to be this good team that everyone thinks could potentially disrupt the freaking KC New England AFC Championship rematch. But I think they've gotten lucky a couple of times, which, let's be fair, a lot of people get lucky. A lot of people I've met have gotten lucky that they haven't met me. <laughs> That's good for you. I like Seattle. Whatever. And I guess there's some game going on this Sunday night. That's supposed to be a big deal. I don't know. Two quarterbacks who I guess did well. Ugh. I like the home team. I don't know. I think home field demands means something. And then you got the Monday night game between two questionable quarterbacks. I don't know. Eh. I'll take the, I'll take the home team. I, I, I have a home bias. I mean, unless you've proven to me you're really good, I got home bias. <sighs> there you go, games. Now let's peek over into Fantasy Corner, shall we? <sighs> or whatever he calls it, I don't know. He, he, I can't talk to him at the moment. Uh, he won both his games. I guess he knows how to draft well or something. He's only lost three games total between the two leagues he's in. Which, I mean, I guess he's doing something right. I don't know. That game is why I pick in the later rounds. It was really smart for him. And yeah, oh, he got lucky with Christopher at the end. Maybe next time he'll pick a better defense. And I'm actually going to be smarter. I have the records. Because I'm smart. And he was dumb. Now he can't be dumb anymore. I mean, I didn't do it. I would never. Me. Never. Alright. And I'm going to do another thing for him since he's dumb and hasn't done it all year. There's these cool dudes. I don't know. I haven't met him personally, but... There's these dudes in the NFL YouTube prognosticator channel. They have their own Facebook group where they talk football every week. You should give it a look. You might enjoy some of it. Or they might all be dumbasses, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a part of it. <sighs> Give it a look. Uh, make sure to follow all the social media. I mean, I don't know what good is going to do yet, but... Give it a follow. You might see me again, you might not, I don't know. I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere. Yeah, and, uh... That's it for me. Happy Halloween, kids. See you in hell. <laughs> uh.